Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about solution stoichiometry by reviewing some practice problems. First, I'm going to talk about a precipitation reaction. To remind you, a precipitation reaction is a reaction if you add two solutions and make an insoluble solid, make a precipitate. This precipitate makes our reaction precipitation reaction. When we say solution stoichiometry, it means we have solutions in our reaction, like these ones. And we have information regarding the solutions. A stoichiometry means relationship between any two chemicals, any two substances in a balanced chemical reactions. So we are going to combine these two concepts that I already reviewed each one in different videos in our class. So I'm going to solve this problem. The first method that I'm going to apply here, this is the first one, is going to be like this strategy. We need to find the information for each given substances and write it here. It says how much of this solution is in liter is required to precipitate the lead. So how much of this one? So question says how much volume of this one is required? Also, it gives us molarity of potassium iodide. So I'm going to write potassium iodide molarity 0.125 M. I write this information for potassium iodide here. So this is a potassium iodide. I write that one in the bottom of this. Next, I'm going to know what information we have for another substance. It says this amount of lead to nitrate. So volume of this substance is 0.456 and molarity for this substance is also 0.345. So this information belongs to PbNO3 twice. So we have two substances, one potassium iodide, the second one lead to nitrate. If we find relationship between them, we call it a stoichiometry. If we are able to solve the problems that we have molarity, a concentration unit, we call that solution a stoichiometry. When we are going to solve our problem, I am going to start with the substance that we have the information of this, both information about that, not the substance we have to find the information. So when you are going to start your initial step of your calculation, you just need to start with the substance that you have both information, molarity and volume. So I have to start with this substance. What number should be started? We are going to start with volume, given number, because molarity is a conversion factor. So we never start with molarity. We prefer to work with the given number volume. So I always start with this one. So I'm going to say 0.456 liter of this substance, PbNO3. So let me write that one, PbNO3 twice, multiplied by a conversion factor. I wrote L here volume, so I'm going to write PbNO3 twice here. And I said in our stoichiometric problem, we need to convert everything to mole. It doesn't matter. We have mass, we have volume. So we need to have moles because in the chemical reactions, coefficients are reported in moles. And we need to have moles of each substance. So I need to write moles of this substance. Moles and volume in liter, we call that molarity. So molarity of this substance given 0.35 per liter, per one liter. So this is the molarity of PbNO3. Right now, let me cancel out the volume in liter of this one. Right now, at this step, we have moles of this substance. This is a time to convert moles of this substance to moles of another substance. So the second conversion factor that I'm going to write it here, I'm going to write moles 
of this substance and convert that one to moles of another one. Mole ratio. So we need to look at the reaction. It says two moles potassium iodide, one mole lead to nitrate based on the coefficients here. Right now, I'm going to cancel out the moles lead to nitrate. At this particular point, we have moles of potassium iodide. But question says we need to have volume. We don't need to have moles. So I need to write another conversion factor. So I'm going to write that one, moles potassium iodide and write volume of potassium iodide in liter. Mole and volume in liter, it call that molarity. So molarity 0.125 per one liter. So I'm going to write this here. So this is a molarity. I inverse that one. Molarity of potassium iodide. Right now, this mole cancel out. So the only unit it remains here is volume of potassium iodide in liter. So I'm going to calculate that one. First, I'm going to remind you, when you are going to calculate, you just need to remember that we are going to have three sig figs at the beginning. So I'm going to report three sig figs at the end. So the final answer is 2.51712. So let me convert that one to three sig figs, 2.52. So this is a final answer here because we need to keep only three sig figs. Again, let me have a quick review regarding this method. I just started with the volume, not molarity, because molarity is a conversion factor. So I multiple the numbers that we have for one substance. It means you can multiple these two. So this is the molarity of lead to nitrate. Then when we multiple these two, we have moles moles should be converted to moles of another substance. This is the molar ratio. Always the second conversion factor is molar ratio. Then we are going to convert moles to volume. So we are going to apply molarity of potassium iodide. So you need to plug in the equation and solve that. This is the first method. This is the purpose of our class, how to apply conversion factors to get the answer. So we have a series of conversion factor to solve here. For the second method that I'm gonna talk about it here in this specific example, everything it would be like this one, but we are going to break down our problems. Let's see how it works for you. We call that short wave method. But the concept and the strategy in, na in nature of both of them are same. So First, we need to multiply the numbers that we have for one substance. So I need to multiply molarity times volume. If you remember that, molarity times volume, it gives us moles. In another video, I already talked about how to solve problems by using molarity equations, how to rearrange re them. Molarity times volume, it gives us mole. If I multiply these two numbers, so let me write like this, 0.345, molarity means moles over liter times volume 0.456. So this number and this number should be multiplied to find moles. This is the moles of PBNO3. So this information is for PBNO3. So I'm going to write moles of PBNO3. If you multiply these two numbers, I'm going to I'm going to calculate. So let me just multiply these two numbers. We have like this number. I don't run it. I don't check the sig fix right now because I am in the middle of my calculation. I'm not done with the calculation. Moles PBNO3 
twice. So we need to convert this moles to moles of this one. You know, mole mole calculation. I'm gonna write that one. Moles of this substance multiplied by, we need to convert the moles of this one to moles of potassium iodide. So, two moles potassium iodide, one mole of PBNO3 twice. This number cancel out, so we have moles of potassium iodide. So, again, as you see here, a strategy it looks similar. So, our answer is point three one four six four right now i have moles potassium iodide so i need to plug in the formula of molarity for potassium iodide m is n over v m is n over v so i need to rearrange this equation to find volume so volume it's going to give us n over m n over m n Moles of potassium iodide is this one, and molarity of potassium iodide is this one. So let me plug in here. If you calculate that, you are going to have the same answer like I already calculated. At the end, we are going to back and apply the sig fig rules. Three sig figs here, three sig figs here. I need to keep three sig figs. I'm gonna keep three sig figs here, so the final answer needs to have three sig figs. So three sig figs on the top, three sig figs on the bottom. So yeah, I need to have three sig figs for final answer. What did I do? I just break down my conversion factors to two different, uh, to three different steps. In first and last step, I use the molarity equation, and in the middle, I just use the molar ratio. So both are same, but sometimes you prefer to use any of them. Right now, let me talk about another example. We call that neutralization reaction. If you remember that, reaction of acid and base, reaction of between acids and bases make salt and water. So acids are soluble, and most of the salt are so well in water it means both of them they are solution so that is why we are going to talk about solution stoichiometry same strategy i'm going to apply same strategy first let me work on our conversion method problem solving for this problem it says for hcl we have 10 ml so i'm going to write volume 10.00 ml and we don't have any concentration for this one. So we need to find molarity for HCl. So this information belongs to HCl. And for the second one, NaOH, this number, so let me write now here, NaOH, NaOH information here, volume 12.54 ml and molarity 0.100. As you see here, again, it doesn't matter what type of reaction you are going to work on, neutralization or precipitation. The concept of solution is psychometry is same. You need to start with a substance that you have both information for that. So I'm going to start with this substance. And always we start with volume. Volume, it should be our first initial step to solve our problem one thing i may ask you please pay attention when we are going to apply molarity equation we need to have volume in liter so i'm gonna write that number in liter so i'm gonna write 12.54 just times 10 to negative 3 liter we already talked about this in our video in another video regarding molarity and volume here is ml so i'm gonna write that one 10.00 times 10 to negative 3 liter. So I start with the, the substance that we have both information for that, volume of NaOH. So I start with this, 12.54 times 10 to negative 3 liter NaOH multiplied by, I'm going to write volume of NaOH and we need to convert that one to moles NaOH. So 
is the molarity of NaOH 0 0.100 per 1 liter. So these two cancel out. The second conversion factor is a molar ratio. I should write moles NaOH here and convert that one to moles of another substance here in this example HCl. One mole and one mole. So I'm going to write one and one. Then we are going to cancel out moles of NaOH. And the last conversion factor, we need to convert moles, moles HCl to molarity. To molarity. Right now, I, let me stop here for the last conversion factor and say we are going to find moles. So if we find moles of HCl, then you can easily plug in the mol molarity equation and solve a problem. So this number, let me calculate that one. times 0 0.100, it gives us like this number. Moles HCl. So the equation for molarity is N over V. So I'm going to write it here. This number, moles of HCl over volume of HCl is 10.0. 0 times 10 to negative 3 and unit is liter moles over liter we call that m molarity one thing i ask you some of you you may have difficulty to get the correct answer like i am going to calculate that please keep in mind you need to use the parentheses if you didn't get the answer like me so the final answer is point one two five four so right now i'm going to apply the sig fig rules four sig figs here so i'm going to finish by four sig figs so it looks i should keep all sig figs here for this exam this is the first method i wanted to review a solution stoichiometry by conversion factor strategy the second method that i'm going to talk about this and it's going to be easier when we have when we have acid base reactions or neutralization reaction like this one acid we have h at the beginning bases we have oh at the end acid bases when we are going to work on the acid bases we have this equation we talk about this in acid base chapter MAVA, MBVB, molarity of acid times volume of acid, it would be same as molarity of base times volume of base. So this one helps, help, helps us to get the neutralization point or we call that equivalence point. We call that we are going to neutralize acid by base. Molarity times volume of acid, it should be same as molarity times volume of base. But in this reaction, we can use this equation, MAVA is equal to MBVB. So I need to calculate molarity of acid. So I need to keep this one on one side. I divide both sides by VA. So I am going to rearrange this equation and I say molarity of base times volume of base divided by volume of acid. So you just need to plug in here. I'm going to plug in here 0 0.100 times 12.54 times 10 to negative 3 divided by this number 10.00 0 .00 times 10 to negative 3 and your final answer it would be same like this one so this is a short wave method mava mbvb if we have neutralization reaction please keep in mind when we are going to work on this equation we need to consider some specific conditions in another example i'm going to talk about this by more details but please keep in mind two different methods 
one conversion factor and another one it would be same like i already solved in the first example you already calculated the moles of the first substance and then convert the moles of the second substance in this example because moles of the first and second substance both are same one look here for the first substance hcl the number of moles is one and for the second substance moles of any which is one that is why we could easily write like this one let me solve another example this is another neutralization reaction like acid base reaction i'm going to remind you we are going to have solution stoichiometry the reason because we have two equation two substances they have uh, solution a state of matter and we are going to make this reaction this reaction we call that acid base reaction the re difference between this reaction and the previous one for this acid base reaction the coefficient is not one two one one and one we have one and two so i'm going to write the information for each one here it says what is the molarity of h2so4 if we have 9.24 so volume 92.4 ml this is for h2so4 requires to neutralize this amount so molarity of naoh is 4.76 molar and we have this volume of naoh 8.80 ml so again we have information of one substance we should start with this and always we start with the volume first i need to convert the volume in liter so i'm gonna say 8.80 times 10 to negative 3 liter and for this one i'm gonna write that 9.24 times 10 to negative 3 liter so i start with naoh substance and i start with volume so let me solve that one quickly because you know that everything 8.80 times 10 to negative 3 liter in aoh multiply volume of naoh i'm gonna write moles in aoh so molarity of naoh so we should multiply by this 4.76 divided by 1 liter and liter cancel out so the second step moles in AOH we convert that one to moles sulfuric acid H2SO4 the number is one mole for sulfuric acid when we don't have number it means one and for NaOH we have two right now we cancel out the units and the last step it says what is the volume i stop here like the previous example i am going to calculate moles h2so4 when we have moles h2so4 we have n over v we have moles of h2so4 divided by volume so first i'm going to calculate this one 8.80 times 4.76 divided by 2 it gives us 2.0944 times 10 to negative 2 so this is a moles and volume is going to be 9.24 times 10 to negative 3 let me calculate that one right now the final answer is going to be 2.266 molar i started with three sig figs so i'm gonna finish by three sig figs as well three sig figs here three sig figs here so my final answer is it would be 2.27 so molarity the final answer is 2.27 molar this is the first method I already talked about this one but the second method it would be same you can break down the
the this strategy by three steps first multiple these two then apply that one to convert moles of these two moles of another one then using the mol molarity equation but i'm going to work on this equation m a v a m b v b here we have like this here we have like this i'm going to ask you please pay attention be careful when you are going to use this one if you have both coefficients are one one and one like this example like this example m a v a is equal m b v b if we have exactly one and one for our acids and bases each acid and each base we have a coefficient if the coefficients are one m a v a is equal m b v b if is not one or both of them we need to revise this equation or we need to use a generalized form of this equation the generalized form of the equation it would be like this one it would be like this one so i'm going to write that one like this n a and this one is m b so this is the equation you need to keep in mind if you are going to solve in a short way method this equation it gives us relationship between molarity volume of acid and bases and you just need to know that n a n b in this example in this equation is going to be coefficients of each one coefficient of acid is one coefficient of the base is two let me plug in here i need to solve this problem n a v a divided by n a m b v b divided by m b if you google that one you may find a, a slightly difference by this definition and plugging in the equation but it would be easier for you to memorize like this so i'm gonna write that one n a and n a b they are coefficients of acids and bases coefficients of acids and bases if we have one for both of them, it means we can say easily M A V A M B V B. I need to solve this problem for molarity of acid. I need to solve this problem for molarity of acid. So I'm gonna rearrange the equation. M B V B divided by M B times N A V A. So let me plug in here in the equation. 4.76 times 8.80 times 10 to negative 3 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 9.24 times 10 to negative 3 so if you calculate that one i'm sure you are going to get the same answer like we already have for our solution of psychometry solved by conversion factor solved by conversion factor right now let me solve another example let me solve another example this is the last example for this video again this is a solution of stoichiometry right now i may ask you to please pause the video and see are you able to solve your problem in two different methods and which one is easier for you to get that one I'm going to write the information here. For this base, we have volume. And we are going to know what is the molarity. What is the molarity? And for this acid, we do have volume. And we have molarity. This is for acid, and it would be for base one thing again i'm going to remind you whenever you have volume i ask you please multiple 10 to negative 3 to make sure you have everything is ready to plug in the equations first method so i start with the numbers given for one prop one substance we start with the volume so 250 sorry 2.25.0 times 10 to negative 3 either for 
acid I multiply by molarity of acid please pay attention to my writing to make sure you see how to plug in, in the equations this is the molarity of acid so volume and volume cancel out I'm gonna write a second conversion factor right now moles acid and we are going to convert to moles base the numbers here we have two and if we don't have any number you can easily get that one we have one one divided by two this one it makes this cancel out for conversion factors so we are going to stop by here again we are going to write this is the moles of our base so quickly you just need to plug in the equation I'm gonna, I'm gonna write the answer here like this color 0.625 times 10 to negative 3 so molarity means n over v molarity we have moles so we are going to have volume again parentheses in case you are not get the answer like me so the final answer is going to be point zero three one two five and let me double check the calculation and we are going to report by proper sig figs we have started by three sig figs at the beginning we finish by three sig figs at the end so our final answer is going to be point zero three one three molar this is the first method second method that i'm sure most of you you are going to apply solving our problem based on this is going to be like this one the second method mava over na is going to be mbvb over mb i need to calculate for molarity of base so i need to calculate for this one if it's difficult for you to rearrange the equation first calculate the one side then change the uh, switch the numbers so mava so i'm gonna write this one here 0.05 times 25.0 times 10 to negative 3 divided by na coefficient of acid is 2 is equal to mb vb is what number we are going to have 20.0 times 10 to negative 3 and over mb we have this coefficient 1 so you need to calculate this part on the left side first so on the left side we if you calculate that we are going to have 0.625 times 10 to negative 3 and on the right side we have molarity of base times 20.0 times 10 to negative 3 so to find molarity of base you need to divide both sides by this number so I need to divide both sides by this number So this one and that one cancel out. So as you see here, the final answer is going to be like the previous one. This is a general, this is a general review regarding the stoichiometric calculation. So I wanted to make sure you know how to apply solution stoichiometry. My preference, you learn the first step, but if you would like to apply the second step, uh, second method. Uh, you can easily use that one but in general you are able to solve the problems thank you for watching this video and hope it helps you to solve your problems in this class